Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering my top five transitions for Final Cut Pro. I have five packs here or things that I recommend you use as transitions. Um, two of them you do need to pay for. So I tried to cover both bases. So you have some free options and some paid options. So yeah, that's everything I'm going to cover in this video. And also, if you're looking for any of the plugins that I mentioned in this video, I'll have links in the description box below where you can get every one of these plugins so you don't have to go search for it. Um, so everything will be in the description box below. And before we also get started with the video, I do have a whole video on free Final Cut Pro plugins that I recommend you download and also a video on my top five Final Cut Pro title plugins if you want to check that out because I think that will also help you guys out if you are looking for even more plugins for Final Cut Pro. So okay, let's get started and go into the video. Video on my favorite transitions for Final Cut Pro. I have to say out of all the videos that I've made like this, finding good free transitions is definitely the hardest. There are a bunch of good titles for free, but transitions specifically are very hard to find and most of them have the kind of like the same look um, and are usually cinematic transitions, which I don't personally use in my videos. Um, so hopefully some of these will help you guys out. Maybe you'll like some of them. So the first set of transitions is from one of my favorite sites to find anything free for Final Cut Pro. They have a bunch of plugins and things and that is simple video making. Um, so here they have this pack called Simple Video Making Free Drippy Transitions. Now I use these every single time when I do B-roll in my videos. I absolutely love the look of them. They're very simple and they're very quick. So I absolutely love them, especially the one that I mostly use is this one called Drippy Bounce. That is my favorite one. And then secondly, it would probably be Drippy Wave. Um, so let me just show you guys what this looks like on a clip. This is what a transition looks like. Um, I think this works very well, especially if you have B roll that looks very different from the clip that you have underneath. So if there's a big color difference, the wave looks very cool. For instance, this clip here is very contrasting to the next clip, so the transition looks very cool. Um, so that's definitely one of my favorite free transition packs that I love using in my videos, like I said, especially for B-roll. Um, and I really recommend you check it out and it's completely free. Next pack that I like using also sometimes is Lucas Erickson Smooth Transition. Now this is definitely more on the cinematic video side where it's more like camera pans and things like that. So for instance, this is what it looks like. You can go like that. You have one that looks like this. Um, they have some cool zoom in and fade out ones as well. So here's a smooth zoom in. Um, so you can definitely play around with these as well to find something that looks cool for your videos. Maybe you're doing a cool video where you're showing something and you need some movement. These transitions help a lot with that. Um, so yeah, I really like these as well. Here's an example of what that might look like in one of your videos. It's just a very nice staple pack to have in your Final Cut Pro if you're ever needing a good transition. So yeah, definitely go check out this pack. And again, it's free, which is really nice. The next transition I want to show you guys is one that is actually not a transition, but it's a tip to make your own transition. And it's free because it's already in Final Cut Pro. You don't need to download anything. And it's a very helpful thing to do to just create a cool snappy transition for your clips. Now I use this all the time for my outro, but previously I used it all the time also just in my videos in general when transitioning from one part of my video to another. I absolutely love this transition and it's still such a good thing to do. So this is what the transition basically looks like, but you got to have some sound with that so that you can actually hear the full effect. I so what do you basically do to get that effect is I'm gonna quickly show you guys. So say I have these two clips and I wanna make a cool transition from the one to the other, just a quick little snappy transition. All you need to do is you need to find the bad TV effect. So we're gonna to go to our effects library and we're just gonna search bad TV and it's this one right here. So what I like to do is I use my arrows on my keyboard and I just go one, two, three. So I move three frames forward, make a cut, and then I also just move three frames backwards, one, two, three and make another cut. So we have these little small clips now. Um, and now I'm gonna add the bad TV effect over each of those small clips. Um, so now these two both have like a cool effect over them. And the last finishing touch that you need to do for this is add a mouse click sound effect. You can use any sound effect. My favorite is just using a mouse click sound effect. Um, so I get mine from Epidemic Sound, but you can find any mouse click sound effect anywhere on YouTube, I'm pretty sure. My favorite mouse click effect is from Epidemic Sound mouse click number two, um, and this is what it's then gonna look like. 
So it's just a cool quick transition from the one clip to another and it just works really well for any case scenario. Um, and I also like using this sometimes for B-roll as well or just adding a quick photo over something, adding the bad TV effect over it really helps a lot with that. So here's another example. So I have this B-roll clip. I added the bad TV just to the first three frames of that clip. So then this is what it looks like. Um, and it just appears with a bad TV effect. So that is one of my favorite things also to do. It's completely free. Everything you need is already in Final Cut Pro. All you really need is a sound effect. And then you can just make a very quick transition using that. Now we're getting to the paid plugins that I have, the paid transitions. So I paid for this and then you just get a pack with a bunch of titles and transitions and everything like that. So I highly recommend these. I mostly use them because of the quality that they have. Um, so I recommend if you're looking for a good transition pack. Um, buying some is very good because you get like a lot of things in the pack. You don't just get transitions. And um, yeah, I just recommend checking this out. And if you have the money saving up, um, finding a good pack that you can just invest in to have good editing resources. So yeah, the first pack that I have here is called MTuber. Both of these packs that I'm going to be mentioning is from Motion VFX. They have a bunch of cool plugin titles and things like that that you can go and buy. Um, so yeah, the first pack is MTuber. So these are all the transitions that they have. They have five transitions in this pack. And I can say I've probably used every single one of these transitions in a video somewhere, but the most used one in this pack that I'm going to be covering is transition number three, which looks like this. I also use this to transition from my intro into my main part of the video. So for instance, here you can see what that looks like. It just has a cool slide with some color. I really like that just because it adds some color to your videos and just is a nice transition overall. Here you can see that again transitioning with a different color. Um, I always try to like make it match with whatever I'm doing. So yeah, that is one of my favorites. Here you can see I use this one also a lot um, for B-roll specifically. This is what that looks like. Now, the reason I love all these is because you can add color to them, which is something that I like a lot of my videos and that you don't really get with just movement transitions. These have some color that you can add to brighten up your videos and just make the transitions more fun. Here is transition one, an example of a video clip. So that's what that looks like. So yeah, I highly recommend this pack. And then the other pack that I also have is M Keynote, which is also from Motion VFX. This is probably one of my favorites as well. Um, it's hard to decide between the two which one I like most. But um, yeah, so here's also a bunch that I like. So for instance, what I use a lot is transition number six, um, but obviously I add a bit more color to it. So that one is like this. Um, if I click play, that's what that looks like. Um, it's a very cool minimal transition. All these are pretty minimal. This sliding transition is also a really nice transition number four. It's not any color, it's just movement, but it looks really cool. So here is what that looks like if you're using it. Um, I also really like that as well. The zoom in one is also pretty cool. I use this in unboxing specifically just to add some movement and some dramatic zoom ins. I feel like these have all the things you need. They have some with color, they have some with movement. So you really get the best of both with these packs. Um, so yeah, that is also a pack that I highly recommend you check out is these from Motion VFX. Again, link is in the description box below if you want to check those out. Um, so yeah, that is definitely a good pack to get. So those were all the transitions that I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you could get something out of it. I know some of these were paid and it's probably nicer to just have good free ones, but um, yeah, I'm hopefully you could get something out of it, out of the free versions that I did recommend for you guys. And maybe you got some ideas or I'm thinking of maybe buying one of these packs. I really recommend it just because you get a lot out of it. But yeah, let me know in the comments below if you have anything that you recommend, if you have some pre free transitions and things that you would recommend people check out, definitely leave those in the comments down below and help each other out in the comments. If this video did help you out and you could find something, definitely give it a thumbs up. It really would help me out a lot. And definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other Final Cut Pro related videos. I have a bunch of other videos like this where you can probably get some resources. And click on the video to see one of my previously uploaded videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!